Ken Jordan here, acting coach extraordinaire. Today I want to talk to you about moving to a different market. Maybe where you're living right now, it's not working for you because there are not a lot of jobs, you know, for you to get like commercial work and, you know, film work and independent film work and all this other kind of stuff. So maybe you're planning on moving to a different market, which is a great idea. But before you do, do this. Do your homework. Find out where you want to go first. You can go to L.A., you can go to the other L.A., which is Louisiana. A lot of stuff going on in that state. Great state, wonderful food, all kinds of infrastructure to help you build your career. So you can go to Los Angeles, California, or you can go to the other L.A., which is Louisiana, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and the like. Or you can also check out Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of projects taking place there, and really all throughout the country. But those are probably the biggest markets where you want to actually go to. Chicago's another market. There's a lot of stuff going on there as well. But if you're not in the union yet and you want to get your feet wet, uh, you may want to go to the southern states where they have right to work. And there are other states around the union where they also have right to work. That means you can take advantage of union opportunities, uh, but don't have to join a union just yet. And if you want to join a union, that's fine too. But do your homework. First of all, you're going to need a place to stay. Second, you're going to have to have sustainable income, a flexible job, what you can do by day and audition during the afternoons or evenings and that kind of thing. Because you want to be able to jump back and forth and the people that employ you, they understand what you're trying to do while you're working for them. If you're trying to get a regular nine to five in this thing, it's really not going to work very well. Trust me, I've tried. They're not very flexible at all. And I understand it to a degree. So you need something flexible, a waitress job. Maybe a lot of my students, here's what they do. Uh, they become Zumba instructors. And so they can take that career all over the place. And they're very flexible. And it works very well for them. Maybe you want to bartend. Maybe you want to do stuff like that. But, or temp work. So again, do your homework. Here's a story. I always have stories because they're great. So um, one of my students, she was sharing with me just recently that a young man decided, you know, because he was doing some extra work in the Hunger Games and stuff like that, and, you know, now he's decided to jump off and go to Atlanta. And he did this. Hey, I applaud anybody who wants to go off and who is motivated and aggressive about their opportunities, about their business. That's awesome. But let's be wise. First of all, um, he tried to jump off and do this, but he didn't have a job once he got there. He thought he would have his job. It was transferable, but it didn't work that way. So first of all, he didn't have a job. Then he struggled to do some other things to get a job, and that didn't work. And if he was staying with someone, which I don't know that detail, um, that didn't quite work out. So in two months' time, 60 days, he was back home. He didn't do his homework. First of all, you got to meet agents beforehand. That means getting a letter of introduction together and letting them know who you are. So when you get to that other market, they're already expecting you. They're already looking for you to be there and to meet them so they can shake your hand and look at you and see how they can size you up and what they can do to help you with your career. So first of all, you need a sustainable income. First of all, you need a, another thing. You need a place to stay and you need to meet agents prior to going. So prior to going, what do you need? You need sustainable income. So when you leave one market to go to another one, now you have money that you can earn weekly or every two weeks to sustain yourself. Second of all, if you have family and friends in that area, by all means, take advantage of that if they allow you to. Otherwise, you're going to have to find a place to stay, which is really, really important. Okay? That's all about handling your business. Okay? So that's all I'm going to say for this for right now. So have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.